So wonderful friends, I am soaking this green moon beans. I will soak this overnight and ready to be boiled or cooked for tomorrow. So hello wonderful friends. Welcome back at Laarni's Kitchen and Food Creations. So remember this is the green mung beans that I soaked last night. So I'm going to cook this. So I'll have to rinse this one in cold water. So to make it or to cook it easier, I'll have to cook this using my pressure cooker. So I'll add my green mung beans or my mungos here. And I'm going to add some water. Then cover it. There you go. So I'll plug it into the source. And remember, there are different settings here on what you're cooking. So I'm going to um, have that setting of beans, which is 30 minutes. And then set that aside. So there are different settings here, like when you want to cook chicken, beef, beans, uh, cake, rice pilaf, yogurt, and some other settings, and rice. So it will take 30 minutes in the process of pressure cook cooking our green mung beans. Set that aside for now. So once our green mung beans it's done and soft and cooked, I'm going to add some fish but I'll have to fry this kind of fish so this is what we called um, mackerel fish so I'm going to dash some salt Cooking and baking, they're always make fun and easy here at my little kitchen. So welcome to Laarni's Kitchen and let's cook supper tonight. <laughs> okay, here in my preheated cooking pot, I am going to use canola oil to fry my fish. While our green mung beans is still in the process of cooking. So at medium heat, we'll start cooking or frying our fish. So I'm using tongs as my frying equipment and my plate with paper towel after frying the fish. We have to drain it using a paper towel for the excess oil to be taken out. So at the same time, friends, I am cooking my rice. So I'm going to wash these nice fresh cherry tomatoes. You know, friends, I ran out of tomatoes, so I have to phone my friend Rachel. Shani, can you please give me a call her Mashang? Our pet name is Mashang. We call each other Mashang. So I said, Shani, give me, if you have tomatoes, can you please give me some? She was so kind. So I have here nice, fresh cherry tomatoes. So I have to wash it properly. And I have here green 
uh, onions or sibuyas dahon. So we're going to add that into our mungos or green mung beans. Okay, I, I almost forgot <laughs> my fishy. <laughs> so let's try to... Okay, there you go. There you go. Beautiful. Crunchy fishes. So I crunchy fishes. <laughs> so I adjusted my flame. I put into lower. So fish is done. So I'll have to take it out and drain it into our paper towel. And set that, the, set that aside for now. Okay, wonderful friends. I prepared lots and lots of nice fresh spices here. I have uh, chopped uh, garlic. And then this one is strips of ginger, leaves of the green uh, onions. These are the parts of the green onions. It's ceboyas dahon. And nice sweet yellow pepper bell and kamatis, which is our sweet cherry tomatoes that my friend Rachel gave it to me. Okay, wonderful friends. These are leaves of the spinach. So I have to wash this thoroughly because we're going to add this into our green mung beans. So when we have uh, veggies, make sure that we have to wash it uh, in the preparation of cooking. Okay, wonderful friends, what are the very basic ingredients that we have? Of course, we have different spices here and this green spinach. And we're just waiting for our green mung beans or our mungos to be done. And of course, that's our fried fish. Okay, here in my old cooking pot, I'll have to turn on my heat. And so I am going to use the same oil that I used in frying because this is a little bit flavorful already you might as well use a new oil that's perfectly fine but friends i'm going to add extra virgin olive oil into my uh, cooking pot here <laughs> it's still close just a little bit there you go okay beautiful So we will just preheat our oil. Wonderful friends, for our savory enhancer, I'll be using mushroom seasoning and a combination of fish, sauce, or patties. Whatever seasoning enhancer you have availability, could it be salt and pepper, simply go ahead. Okay, wonderful friends. So there you go. So I'm going to add or saute my ginger first. So after sauteing ginger, I'm going to add my chopped garlic here. If you ran out of garlic, no worries. Just use whatever spices you have. Oh, this is the green onions. <laughs> After that, wonderful friends, I am going to add all together my green part of the onions, my white part, and the yellow pepper and the tomatoes. Beautiful. 
you can try to smash your tomatoes or just leave it as it is remember friends cooking and baking they're always make fun and easy here at my little kitchen it also gives you the idea on what to prepare for your family's next meal cooking and baking they're always um easy here and besides this is this kitchen of mine is for fun sharing and learning <laughs> okay friends it's time for me to add my patties adding salt and pepper or any savory enhancer it depends upon your taste buds for me i normally try to eyeball all my um cooking so i don't really measure okay this is our mushroom seasoning salt and pepper are wonderful savoring enhancer and it's very very natural so friends i left my spices to be wilted or uh, infused all together wonderfully set that aside for now so this is done so i'll have to release the pressure. So wonderful friends, our green mong beans or green mongos, it's done. So all the pressure has been released. So come, let's check. Okay, this is soft and cooked. So what we'll do now is I'll have to take out some... And then put this one into our spices. I will add more. There you go. So give a quick mix so I will just add a little bit more from here okay beautiful we'll add some black pepper Give a good mix. Okay, and then we're going to add our fish. I will just add uh, two fried fish here. I'll use my clean hands, of course. And another fish here. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, and afterwards, it's time for our greens there you go friends and once we're going to to mix our greens we'll just mix them slowly and surely so i'm in a rush right now because this will go to my husband's work <laughs> for his supper okay there you go and wonderful friends Thank you very much for watching La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen. And oh, I hope you have fun watching me as I presented simple ways of doing kitchen prep and uh, cooking and baking. I love you guys. This is our finished product, our mungos with spinach. spinach. Okay, stay tuned for more okay friends i'll have to turn off my flame voila okay by the way i have here my uh, garnish it with my sibuyas dahon or my green onions